and also as well, there was, you know, Latin freestyle music was really blowing up in the 80s. And Latin freestyle was predominantly Latinos that were doing right. it. Right. So, and when, um, as far as I know, the first like couple of hits that Cold Jam had, it was very much in the Latin freestyle market. Right. Um, you know, uh, so I think, I think with those songs, in that sense, they, you know, also probably thinking like, oh, we need, you know, somebody who could like really exemplify the the fun of freestyle music and, you know, and but have a little soul at the same time because that's what Lisa's giving, you know, it it, it had the had the Latino thing, you know, but it also got it had a little bit of that American soul to it too, the a little bit to her voice, you know, that kind of. I think made her sound a little bit different than other Latin freestyle artists, you know, mm. and I have so much respect for the other uh, freestyle artists, you know, but you could tell like they were very like they had a very strong accent, you know, and it's like, oh, why did you have to change on me? You know, and it was like very, very like Puerto Rican Brooklyn kind of thing, you know. Um, and like Lisa edged it a little bit. It was like that at times, but then like she'd edge it back a little bit and it would be a little more soulful. So it's just kind of cool, I think, how that all came to be. But I think most importantly, it's like it shows that you can be um, Latino, but you don't have to sing in Spanish. You can sing in English, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that kind of opened up even more opportunities because that wasn't usual. I mean... Yeah. You know, in some ways, it still is not usual. You know, they it, always want Spanish, but you know, it, it really made you know it made our music cross over. You know, uh, you know, our music really hit upon so many different genres. You know, so it wasn't just R and B. You know, it wasn't just freestyle, and it wasn't just pop. You know what I mean? And, you know, and that's why we our audiences were really diverse, and yeah. that's why we were able to play many different countries and get played on many different types of radio, you know, because the music, the music and the group was really that diverse. Yeah. You know? I mean, so was, we weren't yeah. pigeonholed, we weren't pig pigeonholed held in one category, you know, you know, uh, you know, it like, you know, like some, a group like, in our type like us, like Loose Ends. Yeah, yeah, you from, know? Here, from here in the loose UK. Ends in, loose Ends in America is basically R&B, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, they don't get pop radio play. Mm -hmm. They didn't get pop radio play in America. You know, we got pop radio play, Head to Toe, Lost in Motion, stuff like that. Um, but Loose Ends, I love that group. Yeah. And I think their, their songs are just great songs, but they were put in an R&B category here, you know, in America. And that's, that's, that's where they are. You know, they were pigeonholed to that category. You know what I mean? And that's what could happen to you. You know, you can... People, especially record labels, that's what record labels did back then. You know what I mean? Because they would have just people that promoted to just one type of state, radio. So when you went into meetings with the record label, you'd meet with just the radio, just the people that are going to promote you with just. So you came into, when we went to meet with Columbia Records, we meet with the R&B department. And no one from the pop department. It's like, so they're talking about promoting us to, but like, shouldn't it be versatile? But no, that's that's what would happen. You know what I mean? And it would take the record, the record would do something, and then they oh, oh, uh, oh, okay, they, they're getting a pop audience. So then they call someone in from pop radio and say, can you get them played on Z100 or those stations, you know? So it's really the labels really did the boxing yeah. of, <laughs> of arts, you know? And and that that's, you know, that was always a negative spin on record labels especially back back in the days. And that's what a lot of people feel right now with indie, you know, everyone's independent, that you can just forget the genres, you know, you're just an artist. Yeah, just you know, you're not music. just Yeah, you're not just a dance artist or just a R and B artist. Just you're whatever, you know what I mean? And people from whatever can can stream your music on, you know, you know, on whatever genre. As long as they hear you, they can stream mm -hmm. you. So it's not just because you were pop. You know, yeah. so that's you know that was a negative bash on the record labels back in the day. Yeah, I mean they probably still they still did that. Um, but was Lisa the first 
um, sort of Puerto Rican Latin success? Or uh, was who else, you know, just thinking about that? Was she the first one to have well, world what success? Not well, speak, be, singing in English. Well, we were before Gloria Estevan, but Gloria Estevan, Miami Sound Machine, they really did. She grew up real. They grew up really big. Our song came out before them, but yeah, Gloria Estevan. Um, who else? Sheila so, E. Sheila, Sheila e. e. She came later with Prince. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So 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 there definitely were were a few um, that that came and happened. You know, uh, since us, yeah. um, you know, uh, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, when the song came out, I was, as I said, I was a boarding school in Nigeria and, you know, and I, and I, and I, and I, when I interview American artists and I tell them about a, when a song goes global, you know, the, the, you know, I think Elder Barge was telling me that Motown never told him how successful the Barge was outside of America Outside of uh, America, yeah. Yeah, but so when when I wonder if I take you home came out, it it was big in America, yes, big around Europe, it was big around diff many countries in Africa, so Nigeria as well, where everyone didn't know that. I oh, didn't know that. Oh yeah, no, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a massive, massive. I mean, wow. so when you think about that song, you know, I remember Stevie had his part time lover, but for that us, the everyone the competition was, can you try and do the the beat on the on the desk, <laughs> you know, you do they don't how do you you know how do you kind of make the beats on the table and stuff? Yeah. And and I think you know the 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 the, the visual, you know, of a girl with you know with a hair with one eye and 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 and, and, and you know it it just it was really fascinating. But did you know when you first heard the song that oh this this is gonna be a massive global hit or what was no, when we heard the song, we knew that we can imagine it getting played in the clubs that we go to. Okay, and that's what be, you're thinking, just be a club right? jam. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, they're gonna love this back in back at the club. They're gonna love this, and that's and that's and that's the way you think. You know what I mean? Luckily, there are people that think bigger than us because we're artists. You know what I mean? And record labels and things like that, they think bigger. But, you know, in, in our minds, like, oh, they're going to love this in the clubs. You know, we're going to be a club hit and we're going to play the clubs and we're going to be famous, you know, in the clubs, you know. Uh, and that's, you know, and and funny. So when the song was released on a, on it, because we were on an independent label first. And they said, oh, yeah, we're shipping this to England. It's going to be on a breakdance album in London. You know, we we're like, really? OK. And we saw the cover these breakers, you know, like, okay, that's our song. And, and it's, it's, in, it's in London, you know, it's in Europe. And then uh, some DJs started playing it here on the radio station. They said, oh, we have an import from, from Europe, from London. Lisa Lisa Cup Jam, like, no, it's not an import. We're from here, you know. But the song that they were playing was the import. They were playing the import. Wow. You know what I mean? So, so it wasn't until, you know, Columbia Records said, oh, yeah, the song is big. Let's, let us release you know, the American 12 inch, you know, and then, you know, that's when it really blew up here in America. But yeah, it came came back to America as an import from England. Did it surprise you how big it went globally though? Did you, did you, did, did it, cause you, it, it was bigger than Full Forces, anything that they put out? Oh, only when we toured, you know, only when they said, okay, we are shipping you guys off to, to, to tour London and, and Japan and, and and these places were like, really? They, are they listening to us there? And even when you, you know, you, you see the charts, you're like, okay. But when you get there and you're in front of an audience, you know, from another country, and they just, they know all the words and they're just partying and dancing, that lets you know, wow, you know, we really, you know, we really came far, you know, from Brooklyn. You know, here we are, you know, you know having, you know, the Smithsonian, you know, whatever, you know, <laughs> you know, these crowds in Japan, in Japan, where they don't, they don't even speak English, but yet they say, oh, one day if I take you home, you know, <laughs> so it's, you know, that's when it really blows your mind. That's when it blows your mind. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of Halftime Chat. Please remember to subscribe, share and comment. But most importantly, why don't you become a member of Halftime Chat? 
we've got amazing videos amazing perks and um being able to support the channel but anyway thanks for watching take care i never participated in that category right, somewhere in between <laughs> On which I didn't miss you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,